take you back to the city of Tswane now, and the ANC is currently addressing media uh, following what has been happening in the city council. Let's listen in. That's why people were then uh, furious that the DA has forwarded somebody who has just been drinking during the day and allegedly was drunk to the chair, and then councillors re refused and said, we are not going to allow this person to continue because no one who is drunk should preside over the meeting. So councillors protested and they called a multi-party discussion. That's what you saw when caucuses were called. Because one, first of all, is that councillors must elect, according to Structures Act, Section 29.1, is that in the absence of the speaker and also the city manager, uh, MEC of COCTA can send a representative to preside over the meeting. We have seen that the representatives of COCTA are here. But the ANC, however, has requested the speaker to come back and actually explain the process so that we follow the orders and rules of council and we don't have somebody who has been drinking to come and preside over council. Okay, so what's happening now? You've ordered the speaker to come back. Is she indicating she's coming back? What's the current situation? How are we moving forward with these motions of non-confidence? We have requested the speaker. Now, the speaker must make a call if she wants to come back. If she doesn't want to come back, the option of the Structures Act says that then the MEC representative must take over the meeting. They are here with their own rules and ordinances from the province. They will be running the meeting in the, if in the case where the speaker doesn't come. But remember, when we, went, when we go to point D, which is the motion, because it affects the speaker, she would not be allowed to preside over that. So somebody responsible like MEC or in the absence of that council itself can nominate according to the rules. Someone who is sober than the alleged person, which is Councillor Zueli Kumalo, who is alleged to be drunk, to come and preside over the meeting. So are you still confident that today we still going to go ahead with these motions of no confidence against the Speaker and uh, the Mayor Stevens Mokala? The, 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 the meetings were planned properly. The procedure was followed according to Section 2A of the rules. So the ANC is confident that everything should go ahead. If the speaker goes our wall, the MEC office is here to preside over the meeting. Uh, councillors also have a right to nominate one of their own according to the rules to preside over the meeting. So the meetings will go ahead. And then what's your relationship with EFF? Are you guys still teaming together to uh, ensure that uh, these motions are successful? According to the pre discussions of political parties before council. Nothing has changed from last week. And you have seen last week that the ANC, the PAC, the EFF, we voted together. The status quo remains even in this meeting. What happens when you successfully uh, uh, you know, remove the mayor and the speaker? Then how do we move forward? What happens? Remember that all of us as councillors, we are mandated by communities to come here. The first thing that we must do is to go back to those communities and take a mandate. And also from the organizations that we come from. At the center of the program of the ANC is the people. So the people of Tswane, after we have removed this, they must, through our branches and our structures, come back to us and say this is the way forward. The African National Congress has said that no one won elections in the city of Tuane. A multi-party discussion must ensue where all parties are involved and all those parties must take a decision in terms of how the city must be taken forward. So after this council, we'll go and consult with all parties that we work with because it's not only the ANC that is voting today. We are working with the uh, PAC, we are working with the EFF. Thank you very much. M maybe just before I let you go, sir, wh what do you make of the stalemate? So currently there's a stalemate now. So how are you planning to resolve this current stalemate? There is no stalemate as such, uh, Kylie. There's no stalemate. What has happened so far is that the speaker must take her responsibilities seriously and go back to her seat. And only when it gets to point D, where it affects her as the speaker, she then recuses herself. But according to rules and orders of council she's still the speaker of council she must follow the order book in terms of the agenda unless the agenda is changed but it is not changed so she must come back and preside and when it gets to point d as i've explained earlier everything will kick in according to section 29a of the structures act in terms of meetings of council and how are you foreseeing things playing out t tonight well today here do you think that i mean we're going to have a mayor by the end of the day what we are going to have in this council is that we are going to have decision on the motions that are going to be taken on the speaker and later on on the executive mayor. That surely is going to happen. And as I explained, after that, we have to kick in other processes which will require all the multi-parties to go out and have a discussion. And obviously we've seen a number of political parties caucusing and trying to consult uh, to, to reach a, a, way, a way forward as it were. So what has been the conclusion there? I didn't get the question. 
So I've seen like a number of political parties, uh, you know, your members who are on the other side and the DA members also speaking, they're consulting. So have you been able to reach any conclusion so that you, you can, in actual fact, resume? Because the residents of Tswane, they are actually watching the proceedings. And of course, there's a great deal of disappointment in light of what you've seen here. What we can assure the residences of Tswane as the African National Congress is that we are here to vote out a government that has failed to deliver services. We are here as the ANC to make sure that this government is voted out, a government of the DA that has really limped from one scandal to the other. We promise the citizens that what we are here for is to make sure that when daylight tomorrow, council will, con will continue with delivering services. We are not here for any other individual interest as the political party. We are here to remove people that we have put in uh, effort to show over the last year that they have been corrupt. You will know that in excess of 30 billion, there was a 12 billion rent Africa, led Africa scandal, an 18 billion rent of Oricon scandal, and there is now a 1 million rent a month at Vonderboom Airport. So we are talking in excess of more than 30 million, 30 million rent, 30 billion rent in corruption in the city of Tswane. So we are saying we want to remove that and we want to allow a multi party discussion. Because we, as the ANC, we think we can only take Tswane forward if we work in a multi-party arrangement. Does that include possibly nominating yourself as ANC to take over Tswane again? The African National Congress has not come to that decision as yet. What we have come to a decision as is to work with other parties to eliminate the speaker and to eliminate and vote out uh, the disgraced uh, executive mayor. Oh, you haven't nominated a candidate from ANC to take over? There is no vacancy and therefore there can't be any nomination. Well, I mean, there should be consideration because that's where we're going eventually. We are going now, SIPO, one step at a time. The step that we are in right now is to remove the executive mayor and to also remove the speaker. So there isn't any potential candidate whatsoever? So there's... We can't have candidates before we have removed the executive mayor because only when the vacancy is declared, that's only when we can have candidates. Thank you very much, sir. All right, sir. Well, sir, there you have it. I mean, of course, sir, the ANC regional chair really just is very confident about uh, the way forward. Of course, sir, he's uh, denouncing the fact that there's a stalemate, but as a uh, proceeding stand here at the city of Tswane, there's nothing really happening now. So political parties, they're working so hard in making sure that proceedings resume. So just a brief recap. So the Speaker of the House, uh, the city of Tswane, recused herself. And of course, it caused a massive commotion. And she believed that an acting speaker had to make sure that the proceedings kick off. But of course, uh, the political parties have subsequently ejected uh, that particular acting speaker. So we're just going to wait and see and see how the proceedings uh, will go forward uh, during the course of the day. So back to you in studio.